Okay, so hey guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, of course, carrying on with the bold and career mode. Won't be saying that for too much longer, I think, because there's well, this is the last like episode of the games in this season, but then we might have a playoff thing. So yeah, I might do that in two parts to be fair. But um yeah, I've gonna show you the games off camera as always. And yeah, hope you do enjoy it. Like and subscribe and thanks for watching. Okay, so off camera, two of the most boring as games I've ever played both nil nil draws which means we drop down to sixth again but we're literally level on points with uh, Coventry uh, today we're gonna be playing against uh, Rotherham and Oxford and as you can see no games past that except from well when the playoffs will show up when it will if we get there because we could still go outside of it but we have to get very lucky to do so um, the team, I am going to bring Hall back into it, just because um, Brown, like, well, because everybody else was, like, tired, and, like, uh, like uh, Brown wasn't, so, yeah, and then uh, Weir was also tired, so I brought in Gasparoni, and to be fair to him, he did do a good job on his debut. Um, I'm going to keep Edwards in. Zuma is now 65 rated, which is nice. I uh, did a contract, like, boost sash extension he didn't need it but like he was asking for like more money and stuff so i was just like oh, okay yeah i'll do it um i think that's all i gotta say so yeah let's get into the game again he gets the drag back here oh what a goal that was such nice play just like play in his feet but literally the simplest stop and then he baits it past the, the one defender that was with him and then from there he had the space to just finesse it and that was nice but yeah good start good lead that is half time it's been like they've definitely had the more of the chances but like when we've been attacking we've looked well when we've got in, a, in like a good position we've looked clinical um looking at it I'm not going to make any substitutions, so yeah, let's get back into the second half. The Hall, Hall stops it, gets it around, Hall in the 90th, basically third minute, another nice play from Hall, and he gets another goal, that was just good play again, he, this shows why he should start, and he's our top goal scorer. All time. That was literally one of the last kicks of the game, and it's another goal. So yeah, Paul played brilliantly when he got in the positions. It was quite hard to get in the positions at times, but 2-0 against a team that I think third when we got into this. That is nice, and that means we might... Wait, let's see if we can find... Oh, I couldn't see Coventry's result. They'll have to hope that they lost or drew. But yeah, this should be nice. Well, two goals secured a win. Who was a hero today? Any thoughts? Uh, I'm going to say an overall great performance. Kind of. Baltimore did it unbeaten so far in the League One for a certain amount of time. Are you confident with the keep this streak rolling? Um, I'm just going to say we have what it takes. Uh, coming into this one, there was much between you sides. Uh, do you have any doubts you come away with the win? Um, I'm going to say we always prepare for the worst. But yeah, I'm going to see you back in the menus. Final game of the season. We are officially got enough points to be fine in the um, in the playoffs. So yeah, we're going to be doing another episode. I'll probably do like a two-part episode for like uh, for the playoffs because there's like well, if I go to the final, there'll be four games. If I don't, then it'll just be one part. Um, we are currently going to be playing Oxford, who are uh, 13th in the league. I'm going to just basically play a younger team because it really doesn't matter that much, this result. So I'm going to bring in like all the players which haven't had much game time uh, over the course of the season. Um, I'm going to give King Hans another go. Uh, Matthews, uh, Richards, uh, Brown, um, and yeah, I'm gonna leave it as, as that. That it's yeah, definitely a pretty changed squad, but yeah, the result just doesn't matter at all. 
uh, I will have a look at like top goal scorers for the league and stuff after this and just see like what we've done and stuff and how far we've come to the top but yeah that's all I've got to say so let's get into the game save oh. okay unlucky it was, it, was, it was a good save it's just unlucky they just got it straight through the middle but yeah it's not the best of starts but it's not really that big of a deal okay the ball gets played through and that is another goal for them like the defense isn't strong enough with these players but you know what you gotta do okay so half time um i don't really know i might bring on like a couple of um the plays that we normally use i can't bring on politic because he's in the reserves um I'm gonna bring on Murphy and I'm gonna bring on Abacar and then I'm gonna leave it as that. So yeah, let's get into the second half. Keeper uh, no, nope. it's it's just not gonna it's not been a game that we really need to win and we've not really played the best, but yeah, you know, it was just straight through them. But you know, it's, that's a loss there. Okay, Hall. Shot. Oh. Gasparoni. Okay. That is full time. 3 0. But you know, when you play your youth squad, you're against a decent side in Oxford United. You're not expecting to win by a, a win at all to be honest. It's just a game that it's just experience and getting to know the players and stuff. Um the press conference probably will rip us apart even though I don't really feel like I deserve it, but you know. Uh both winners finally defeating it and invincible streak is over. What are your thoughts? Um I'm just gonna say it's bound to happen eventually. Uh, fair to say it was a tough match. Where do you think went wrong today? Um, I'm just gonna say I'm not sure. Uh, it seems the second match against Oxford United did not go as planned. What was what went wrong? Um, I'm just gonna say the lads did their best. But uh, yeah, I'll see you back in the menus. Okay, so I've managed to find the um, the top goal scorers and stuff. Hall was our top goal scorer with. Uh, 17 goals in uh, 45 matches he, he definitely deserved that and then Murphy with 15 wasn't too far behind he, he definitely scored a lot saying he was a midfielder uh, Tulloch not too far behind with 13 That's he, he did a decent amount yeah that's nice uh, assists Hall got 11 Politic got 10 that's too, quite nice second and third uh, Tull uh, oh, Murphy 8 Tulloch eight uh and yeah that's the rest that is a decent amount that means that uh, it's not just been one play getting all the assi assists but yeah matthews has 11 clean sheets and saseda even though he only played well he only played from the second half of the season he still managed to get six which is quite nice to be honest uh yellow cards red cards are irrelevant um, so yeah, we're going to be playing in the promotion playoffs, Ipswich first, and last time we did beat them, but we have to play them, I believe we have to play them twice, yeah, you play them twice versus the second leg, and then you go to the final if you win that, um, I think there's also Rotherham and Coventry, that's also in it, so you know, it'll be quite a difficult playoffs, but yeah, I'm going to probably do it in parts if we, uh, if I, if we get to the final. But yeah, hope you did enjoy this episode. It was just a nice episode to wrap up the end of the season. But yeah, hope you did enjoy it. Like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.